Matt from Abbott here, and today we're going to be carving a pumpkin, sampling it, destroying it, and creating a whole plethora of fun new sounds to use. So without further ado, let's go. It's beautiful. Remember, always wear your safety goggles. hot in there that is fun so here we are back in pro tools and i have all of our recordings loaded in as you can see right here these are the pumpkin carving sounds and it's stuff like this and the smashing sounds which are things like this so lots of cool stuff to play with so i'm just going to go through and start cutting some pieces out and this can be a little bit tedious, but I'm going to make it as quick as possible. So that's it for the carving pumpkin sounds. Now let's check out the smashing of the pumpkin sounds. So now we have all of our pumpkin sounds, both the carved pumpkin sounds as well as the smashed pumpkin sounds. And let's do some basic processing to them before we load them into Groove Cell and then make some drum kits. I'm gonna start with some EQ and I'm not doing anything too heavy handed, but I'm just gonna take out the very, very lows. Maybe a little bit of mid range because there is some honk in this thing. And let's add a little bit of high end. Cool. And I'm also going to put fades on everything. Same thing for here. And let's also just add some nice saturation. And I want this to be loud. Sounds great. Let's do the same for the smashed pumpkins. And now I'm just gonna commit both directly down. Now we have our rendered samples. I'm gonna do some strip silence. And now let's also go and normalize every file. We wanna do individual files, clip by clip. I'm going to export all of them into a samples folder and let's in this folder, let's call this carved pumpkin samples. And in this one, we'll put it in a folder called smashed pumpkin samples. All right, let's build some groove cell kits. The first one, this will be our carved groove cell kit. And here is our groove cell. I'm just going to start dropping them in. And now that we have all the carved samples into groove cell, let's start adding them just using groove cell. Like for instance, this kick drum. Let's pitch it down. And a little bit less than that. Cool. 
That sounds great. Maybe we actually put a high pass filter on this. Maybe pitch it up. It's a nice little hi-hat style thing. That's nice and messy. Oh, and see, we have a nice little clap right there. And another one right there. These are great. And these have some nice crackly stuff. What happens if we pitch it up? And a high pass filter. And let's take that little crackly right there. And this would be another good kick drum time to sound. Yeah, that's cool. So let's do the exact same thing now, and now we're just gonna do it with the, uh, the Smash Pumpkins, and we'll make a Groove Cell kit of those. Let's put some reverb on this one. So now we have our kits made. I just put together a basic little beat. Remember, these sounds came entirely just from pumpkins. It's so cool. Check it out. So that is how you make music entirely just with pumpkins. And I would please encourage you to try this yourself. Record lots of weird things. Use samplers like Groove Cell to make strange beats. It's a ton of fun. Also, you can download these samples for free. So just check the link below and you'll find all 32 drum samples I just made for the use of these kits. You can load them into your own kits. You can load them into anything you want. It's a ton of fun. So download them, but also try this out yourself. And have a happy Halloween.